Hello and welcome back to the Fellowship of the Things. We have our Sean back and we're ready to get started on a new project. We are. And when I first started working at SparkFun, I used to bike to work almost every day. And the problem is I used to have to pull out my cell phone in the morning and find some app or website that would tell me the hourly weather data for what's going on, the wind speed, whether it was gonna rain, and that would tell me if I could bike to work, bike home, if I needed to catch the bus, and so on. I thought it would be cool to have a mirror, say in the bathroom, that you could look at while you were shaving, getting ready, that would tell you this information, say, from the internet. The project revolves around the Intel Edison, which allows us to connect to the internet and pull down weather data. There's a wish list of all the other parts you'll need down in the description. You'll need to first solder some wires to connect the Pi block to the LCD, including power, ground, spy clock, MOSI, CS, DC, and reset. Then you'll need to clip the ends off of some female jumper wires. Solder them to power, ground, 3.3 volts, SDA, and SCL for the I2C connection. Then you want to build the Edison block using the Edison first, then the base block, and then attach the Pi block to that. For the casing and the actual mirror part of this project, we decided to go with a shadow box because we needed something with a little bit of depth so that we could hold the electronics behind the mirror. We used the window and put a one-way mirror film on top of it so that we could push the LED light through, but it still worked as a mirror. You just put some application down, which could be soapy water. We used a special spray and then squeeze out all of the bubbles, the wrinkles and everything. You won't get it perfect. It won't look like a perfect mirror, but it works very well for our application. Finally, we can adhere these electronics to the shadow box to make our mirror. The code requires multiple steps to get running. There is a tutorial in the description below that'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. The important thing here is that we can download the code from GitHub, copy smartmirror.service to lib systemd system, run systemctl daemon reload, and then systemctl enable smartmirror.service to have the program run on boot. You'll need to make some modifications to smartmirror.js in order to have this run which includes creating an account on openweathermap.org and copying your API key into smartmirror.js. With the cardboard backing preventing any light coming in the inside of the mirror or the shadow box, we get a mirror effect here. It's not the shiniest mirror in the world, but it's good enough to do basic things like shaving, putting on makeup, combing your hair, adjusting your bow tie, whatever it might be. Down in the corner, we've got the LCD poking through and it's giving me the current weather data in Boulder. Okay, that's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed this. We'd love to hear your feedback about what you're doing, what you would like to see, whether you check the weather. See you next time.